Boy, hello viewers and welcome to Emeka Williams Spiritual Tips. I am your brother, Pastor Emeka Williams. And today, I am coming out with another spiritual power-packed boy. Another wonderful spiritual tips that will set you free from the bondage of the enemies. On today's video, I will be talking on how to break out and break off the hands of the wicked from your body. There is wickedness everywhere. And I can tell you, when the hand of the wicked is upon you, there is nothing you do that works. You try to move, they draw you back. You try to achieve something, they scatter it because they have laid hold on you and they have captured you. But I have a good news for you. Even according to the word of God in the book of Psalm 37 verse 17, where the Bible says that our God breaketh the arms of the wicked and uphold the righteous. You, a child of God, you are innocent. You've not offended anybody. You have not blocked anybody's path. You love helping people. But yet, there is enemies everywhere. And they go all out to make sure nothing good happens in your life. They go all out to make sure they stop you. They have placed their hands on your marriage and that is why that marriage is having crisis. They placed their hands on your destiny and that is why everything is working haphazardly. They placed their hands on your children. That is why your children are misbehaving, joining unnecessary, ungodly gangs, committing all manner of atrocities by the reason of evil manipulation of the wicked. They lay their hand on your certificates. That is why no matter how qualified you are, when you present your CV, they will always tell you, we will get back to you and they will never get back to you. Can we read the Bible and see if truly there is arms of the wicked that rest upon people? Psalm 37, verse 17. Hallelujah. Glory be to the God of Israel, the I am that I am. I say we look at Psalm chapter 37. Verse 17, it says, For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The arms of the wicked. What is the arms of the wicked doing upon you? When the hand of the enemy is upon you, the wicked ones, that hand will afflict sickness into your body. That hand will afflict diseases. Their hand will afflict poverty, shame, disappointment. All this moving object that moves around people is a result, as a result of the hands of the wicked. When they place their hand on your life, they will inflict you and afflict you with all kinds of evil projections. And that is why in today's video, we are going to be using two natural common items. Your early morning urine and grinded cloves to break off the hands of the wicked from you. It's going to be a cleansing bath. Now, before I teach you how you are going to carry out this cleansing bath that will remove the invisible hands of the enemies from your life. It could be from your family of birth. It could be from your mother's family of birth. It could be from your in-laws family, where you got married to or where you married from. It could be from your ex-husband or ex-wife. It could be from your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend. It could be from co-workers, colleagues at the place of work. It even could, could be from the, 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 the among church members, where you fellowship out of envy and jealousy. Let me tell you, the hand of the wicked can rest upon you even by the reason of evil heart desires and intentions against you. Now, if this is your first time of coming in contact with this face, 
I am Pastor Emeka Emmanuel Williams, and this channel is a family channel where everybody is important, where everybody is somebody. It's a channel where we discuss, we teach, we learn, we share knowledge on purely spirituality, how we can use natural materials connecting to their spiritual properties, their spiritual energies, their spiritual uh, vibrations and frequencies, thereby enjoying their spiritual benefits to solve our physical human problems. You use natural plants, herbs, items, resources. And I can tell you by the grace of the Almighty God, these things are working perfectly well. God is in nature. Everything God created has a purpose. Every plant, every item that God Almighty created has a reason for what God has created them. They have a purpose to fulfill on earth and in the life of man to our benefits. But you have to become a bona fide member of this family. And how do you become a bona fide member of this family? By subscribing to our channel. How do you subscribe to the channel? Look at the right hand side of this video down below. You will see a red subscribe button. Click on it and put on your notification bell to all so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified with immediate effect. Why do you need these notifications? So that you don't miss out of the information that is flowing from this divine stream of knowledge. Welcome with a thumb up. God bless you. To my returning viewers, my old and new subscribers, my returning subscribers, my day one members, those who have been watching me all this while, even those who refuse to have to subscribe but they love to watch my video. I give you double thumbs up. I say, May the good God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God whose name is I am that I am, continue to bless you. May He continue to fight your battles and defend you, even according to Exodus chapter 14, verse 14, where the Bible says, For the Lord your God will fight your battles and you will hold your peace. Child of God, I want to assure you, as long as you believe in that man, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as the Son of God, accepting him as your personal Lord and Savior, repenting of your wickedness, your evil, your righteousnesses, and returning unto him, he will always be there to fight your battle, to defend you, to protect you every day of your life. And to God Almighty, I lift my two hands up, and I bow my hands unto you. I say thank you for every one of us, for our families out there, for this channel at large as a family, for me and my family. I am saying thank you to you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. For every miracle you have gotten as a result of trying out any spiritual tip from this channel, it is not me who has done it. It is the grace of the Almighty God and is the Spirit of God Himself who by this channel has granted you that testimony. And as such, I would want you to always return the glory back unto him. The Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because without him, we can absolutely do nothing. And I'm grateful to all of you that are sharing your testimonies as God is dishing it out. This channel is a place where testimony is a must. And some of you that are my subscribers who are following me are witnesses to this thing that I'm saying, that God has been blessing you through this channel. So I'm grateful to God for that. And I pray for more testimonies for you and for myself and for our family at large in the name of Jesus Christ. Talking about how to break evil hands from your life. Because when these hands continue to be upon you, nothing works. Everything will begin to work in retrogressive order instead of in a progressive order. But God got your back. Simple stuff that you wouldn't need to buy. They are all there with you. Kitchen items. Get yourself an amount of your early morning urine. Then get yourself some amount of cloves. Then blend these cloves into powder. You can blend it with blending machine. You can pound it with your mortar and pestle. 
However, just make sure you get these uh, um, cloves grinded and made into powder. Then scoop it into the container that is containing that urine. Don't come and tell me, oh, if I leave this urine for some days, it will be stinking. Hey, how can I manage it? Can I handle it? Hey, it's your urine. Manage it and handle it and get your freedom. Get your deliverance from that evil personality, spirit or human that has held you captive. This particular recipe I'm giving to you is an antidote to evil stronghold upon you. They are tested, trusted, and proved. Now, when you have mixed these items together, shake it very well. Now, look for a safe place. Keep it for three good days. Leave it there. Mm -hmm. Then, power of God will enter. Let it ferment together. Now, after that, on the third day, you now get it out. Pray over it. Say your intentions. You know what is your problem. You know what trouble you. You know what you want to remove from your life. Is it family cause? Is it ancestral cause? Is it human inflicted cause? Directly or indirectly? Have you been having severe nightmares? Have you been confronted with disappointment always? Failure at the edge of breakthrough. You will be pursuing a project. Everything will be going smoothly. At a time where you feel everything is set and it is your time to manifest, boy, something will happen. And they will tell you stories. Everything will be scattered. And you begin to wonder, does it mean that God does not love me? Does it mean that my prayers no longer work? I have prayed, I have fasted, I have sown seed, I have offered sacrifices, and yet these things are happening to me. Brother, sister, try out this divine giving knowledge of this particular spiritual remedy, these tips. And you are going to see that in this spiritual recipe with your prayers joined together, God will bring deliverance upon you. Through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, don't forget that I said, whenever you want to carry out any of my instructions, my recipes, you must back it up with the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the word of God. So you consecrate this mixture. Tell God that this mixture is hereby declared an antidote to every end of the wicked that is resting upon me. You read Psalm 37 verse 17 to consecrate this particular mixture. Now we come to the usage. How do you use it? This particular mixture is best used at night. And if you ask me, I will say there are days you can choose to use this. You can use it after the first seven days at a stretch, every day, every day, seven days, you put it in your bearing water. Then after which you now start using it on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Do this before going to, be uh, to bed. When you want to go to bed, drop this mixture in your bedding water and read Psalm, Psalm 37 verse 17 over it and use it to bathe, telling God, I wash away and I neutralize every inch of the wicked that is resting upon me. And God will deliver you by it. Now, let me advertise a little bit. I have spiritual products that I sell, made by my hands, original and natural, no after effect. I have the cost breaking soap, which are tested and proved potent and result giving. Some of you viewers, you can attest to this my claim. The road opening soap, the back to sender soap, the anti witchcraft soap, the anti witchcraft cream, the favor soap, the love and attraction soap. Then we have the spiritual detox, the Apo above plus spiritual detox, which is used to detoxify your body of any kind of moving object. You've not been sleeping for years, I got you. This is sure. 
You have some things in your stomach that are making you uncomfortable. You have moving objects as a result of arrows from the dream or spiritual sex or evil food or any kind of contamination. The spiritual detox is there for you. All you need to do is chat me up on WhatsApp or call me on WhatsApp. And before you know it, bye. DHL or FedEx brings your order at your doorstep. I also have medicinal apps for erectile dysfunction, for infection, for uh, uh, low libido. We have also for quick ejaculation, we have apps for remedy that are remedy for all this. All you need is chat me privately on WhatsApp. And maybe you have been trying to carry out some spiritual exercises and it seems your energy is low and not strong enough to carry it out. Just chat me up. Let us discuss on modalities how I can come in to help you. But when I do spiritual work for you, don't forget there is nothing free even in free town. Now, I would want you to also share this video, like this video. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel and look at the comment section down below. Put your comments out there. I will be available to respond. I'm open for communication and may God bless you as you use any of my spiritual tips. Put it into action to help yourself and your family. May God continue to answer your prayers. Till we meet again in my next video, I remain your brother, Pastor Emeka Williams. I love you with the love of God. Thank you.